Pastor Leon Harris, and I'm glad that you've taken time to listen to the last part of my series, Time, Seasons and Purposes. Today, you will listen to my message on transition, and I hope that it will bless you. Remember, saints, Jesus is Lord. So today, I want to talk to you about the process that happens before your time, well, between time and season. Now, that process is called transition. Say transition. You see, transition is the make or break of your success. Hallelujah. So if you want to be successful, you have to go through that process called transition. Amen. If you fail to transition, you will not enter into your season. So transition is very important. Now you might be asking me, what is transition? Transition involves movement or a shift or a change or a relocation. Hallelujah. So transition is a movement from one place to the other. Hallelujah. So when you're moving from one place to the other, it is called transition. So you can do that in the natural realm and you can do that in the spiritual realm also. So when God is taking you from one place to the other in the realms of the spirit, it is called transition. When God is moving you or relocating you in the natural realm, it is called transition. When you experience change or relocation just in your life in general, it is called transition. So transition is movement. So you cannot be stagnant. When I mean stagnant, I mean you cannot be in the same place and say that you're in transition. Because transition is about movement. Amen. And we have so many people, they, they, they get so deceived thinking that I'm in transition, but they're stagnant. Their life is stagnant. Transition is a change from one position to the other. So if there is no change going on in your life, then it's an indication that transition is not going on in your life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I want to give you some examples of transition. Maybe you are a brother or a sister and you are, you are transitioning, you are becoming a minister of the gospel. That is what you call transition. So from an ordinary brother or sister into being a minister of the gospel, that is transition. A sinner to a saint... That process is called transition. From miss to missus. That is transition. For an ordinary man called Jack to becoming a dad. That is transition. From adolescence to adulthood. That is transition. I have seen so many people stuck in transition. They don't actually get to that place where they're supposed to be. They get trapped in transition. They get scared. They they stop in transition. And I want to give you an analogy for you to understand and recognize people who get stuck and trapped in transition. Have you ever saw a, a, a group of men in their 40s and their 50s and even 60s and they're outside of the bookies laughing and joking just like when they were 13, 14, 15 years old they stand around their cars all day looking at their cars they don't find a job 
They don't look after their families. They're just there like they are still 15 and 16 years old. Something happened and they got stuck and trapped in transition. You know, also there are people who are in church. And they're just the same as when they were saved 20 years ago. They still do the same things. Still trapped in the same mess. Still trapped in the same sins. They got stuck in transition. Hallelujah. You see, transition is something that stretches you. Amen. When someone in the natural realm is transitioning from a child to an adult, they, they experience growing pains. They're stretching and it's painful and uncomfortable. I've saw people who have just shut up overnight, it seems. And they're this tall, but their minds are still young. So even though they're tall and their voices are breaking as, as young men, They still play with their cars. They still want to run around and climb the trees. Transition. Somebody say transition. Transition Transition is something that stretches you. So whenever you're going through transition, realize that you are going through a time where it is uncomfortable. Oh, pastor's asking too much of me. Pastor wants me to do something, but doesn't he know me? Because if pastor knew me, he would know that this is not for me. When you have that mindset, you will not enter and go through transition within the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. Because transition is something that stretches you. And if somebody is not stretching you, if somebody is not pulling you, then you will stay stagnant. Amen. You need those people who will pull you. You need those people who will, who will begin to say, listen, where you are is not good enough. You need to go further. People who are wise will stay around people who will pull them. Because in life, we need to grow. You need to be around people that will provoke you to godly jealousy. You need to be around people that you can look at and say, you know what, I am not there yet, but that is where I want to go. Because that is what you call. Those people will help you in the place of transition. But if you're around people that are a par with you, you will stay the same. Hallelujah. You need to see people ahead of you. Praise the Lord. And they help you in your transition. Hallelujah. Every believer should experience transition. But not every believer does. Those who are writing down, write this down. Every believer should experience transition, but not every believer does. There are different transitions that we experience in life. Hallelujah. One of them is moving from one area to another. So you may be moving from, say, Birmingham City Center to Acots Green. It's a time of transition. You may be changing your jobs. That's a time of transition also. You may be getting married. That also is a time of transition. You may be promoted at work. That is also a time of transition. You may also be starting a new business. Going on a mission field. God may be calling you in a different area. Or you may be going to a new school. Or you may even be pregnant. That is transition. Hallelujah. Transition is anything that brings about change 
in your normal routine. Hallelujah. So transition brings change 